We shouldn't have to stack silver and gold in 2021, but don't you stop. Hey everyone, thank you for watching Yankee Stacking. We shouldn't have to stack silver and gold in 2021. You may want to stack silver and gold, maybe because it's you know, beautiful or satisfies a, some you know, deep urge to collect, or maybe it's your way to make some extra fiat currency by flipping it. Or maybe you need an extra hurdle to keep you from spending what you make. Maybe it's your form of jewelry. Whatever the reason, whatever drives you to stack, it shouldn't be necessary. It shouldn't be a necessary protection from what awaits us. We should see this as it was seen in the time of my grandfather. Real, normal, everyday money. Today, we should have our currency in a physical or even a virtual wallet that is backed by that same real, normal, everyday money, gold and silver. Our everyday means of exchange should be based on a gold and silver standard, which effectively limits our nation's ballooning balance sheet. We should expect our government to live within their means, not thrive on deficit spending. I mean, we can't do that in our personal lives without it eventually catching up to us, without it eventually you know, causing us to go bankrupt. And neither can a sovereign country currently blessed to have the reserve currency of the world. We should not have to expect debt-fueled handouts. Even in the midst of a medical crisis, we shouldn't expect our government to just hand out money to corporations or banks or special interests, lobbyists. And we should not expect to rely on those same ill-advised, unfunded handouts to small businesses and individuals. Folks, there is no free money. Our government can only give you what it first takes from you through taxes, either now or later in the form of inflation. We should not fall for the lie that economic stimulus, really economic sedation, okay, but economic stimulus that our GDP cannot support is somehow good. Okay, it isn't. It is the immoral mortgaging of our future, regardless of the one whom the government elites deem worthy of their generosity. We should not believe that anything big government can do with all its bureaucracy and waste, corruption, whatever, is anywhere near as effective and efficient as private enterprise. What we should expect is a government to fund our nation's expenditures with, yes, taxes, but taxes that are fair and reasonable, not confiscatory. Taxes that pay for what we need our government to responsibly provide. Taxes that current citizens feel the short-term burden from, and then they can punish our elected officials, if necessary, at the ballot box. Taxes. 
It's the only legitimate way to pay for our government, not the drunken orgy of currency printing that will enslave our children and eventually destroy us. We should expect our representatives in Congress and our president to spend our national wealth wisely and, and be shackled by the limits placed on them by our U.S. Constitution. The federal government is limited in what it can constitutionally do, people. States actually have more power, and any overreach by the president or by Congress should be quickly struck down by our Supreme Court. We should have no fear of currency debasement. Our dollar should not continue to fail as a reliable store of value. We should have no fear of Federal Reserve dealers creating dollar drug addicts through debt monetization. We should have no fear of mountains of debt that we can never pay. We should have a future that reflects what made our country the economic envy of the world, a GDP engine that is real and vibrant. Small businesses, <laughs> they should have as few government restrictions placed on them as possible. We should have free market capitalism once again. And all those shoulds mean we shouldn't have to stack gold and silver. We shouldn't need this hedge of protection from what we see happening all around us. We shouldn't have to stack it, people. But we must. We absolutely, positively must. And in 2021, I hope you stack it with more discipline and determination than ever before. And I hope your year is a-okay.